Today we're gonna make the best Pullman loaf. I'm Chloe Schaefer. What you're gonna need is a Pullman loaf or two bread pans, sugar, dry active yeast, butter, water, salt, and bread flour. To start off, you need to add three tablespoons of sugar into a large bowl. Next, we're gonna add one and two thirds cup of hot water to that sugar. Go ahead and stir that sugar to dissolve it in the warm water. Now add two teaspoons of dry active yeast. Make sure to sprinkle it on top, don't stir it. This yeast is going to bloom. And while it's blooming, we're going to heat up and melt six tablespoons of butter. Add that butter to the yeast and sugar mixture. No need to stir. Sprinkle in two and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then add five cups of bread flour. Make sure to scrape off the top to get a complete accurate five cups. And then sprinkle some extra flour onto a clean counter. This is where we're gonna knead the dough later. And then with clean hands, you're going to want to mix all of these ingredients together to form a ball. Trust me, using a spatula or spoon will not work. And then we're going to knead that dough on that floured surface for about 10 to 15 minutes just until it forms a nice soft dough ball. Add that dough ball back into that large bowl. And now you're gonna want to get a clean dish towel. I like to put it under hot water, wring it out, and then put that over that bowl to cover it completely. Then we wait for that yeast to rise an hour and a half. Take off that towel and the dough will have risen about double in size. And now with one hand, once, just gently knock the air out of that dough. Go ahead and butter the Pullman loaf pan, every nook and cranny so it doesn't stick. And then we're going to kind of gently roll the dough out into the length of the pan. And then pinch in the seams and the ends of the bread. Transfer that bread into the pan and push the dough into the corners very gently. Cover it with saran wrap very, very tightly. And then in about one to one and a half hours, that dough will reach the top. And that's when you're gonna wanna stop with that step. Definitely putting it in a warm place will yield you better results and quicker results. Lightly butter the inside of that loaf pan. You don't want too much butter. It could steam and all sorts of things in your oven. And now we preheat the oven to 350 degrees and we bake it for 30 minutes once it's reached that temp. After the 30 minutes, take the top off and bake for another 10 more minutes. That'll give the top a little crisp golden brown. Take it out of the oven and dump it out onto a cooling rack. And after a few minutes, go ahead and check the internal temperature. Make sure it's at least 190 degrees. If it's not, Put it back in the oven for maybe five to 10 more minutes until it reaches that temp. And lastly, do not cut 
or store the bread until it's completely cooled. That'll take a couple of hours. You don't want it to get kind of moist and also the inside will keep cooking. So enjoy if you're not going to be able to eat all of that bread within about five days. I usually cut it in half and then freeze the other half and eat the other. So it just makes sure it's all good and fresh and nobody is having any complaints of dry or stale bread.